Hey guys, how's it going? The Selfful Lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's Lock Sport update. This is a fun video series that I run every single Saturday, and it serves as a great place for me to update the community on anything that I've been working on, and also is a really great place for the community to update everyone on what they have been working on. This video came out a day late this week. I was just very busy. I'm in the last two weeks of my summer semester for school, and it's just been quite busy, and I just honestly wasn't able to find the time to get to making a video yesterday. But it is nice seeing everyone that has been able to make it into the video today. It's great seeing Lowell Forbes and Lockmania. Not a really great big audience right now, but it, I always see you guys showing up, and I really appreciate everyone that is able to make it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go over a channel that shared an update in last week's Locksport update, and that channel is Pocket Women. Pocket Women's probably a channel that many people are already very familiar with, but what I'm going to do is bring her up for you right here. And one of her big updates was, as you can see right here, 409 subscribers. She has reached 400 plus subscribers, and I just want to say that is a really cool thing. She's made 172 videos that she has listed. And I just want to say that that is a really great accomplishment. This takes a very long time to get to. And I just want to say congratulations to Pocket Women on all of her really great work. So if you would like to show some of your support to Pocket Women, one thing you can do is hit the subscribe button, click the bell, and what you can do is just try to check out all of her great videos and show her some really great support. So, let's see who has been able to pop in. Now, I'm just going to get out of Pocket Women's thing, and we're going to bring back our chat, our chat box right here. All right, so it looks like we've had a few more people join us. How's it going, Brian Field, Josh Hamilton, Rune, thanks for coming in, and also Lethal Logic X. So, one thing that was shared with me in the prior update video was the channel called Thumper's Lockpicking. Thumper is a channel that you're probably familiar with as well. So I was told that Thumper ended up in the hospital, which is never a fun thing. I am told that Thumper is back out of the hospital and he's been making some more content. I don't really know any of the details of it, but I just want to say it's good to see that you're back and making some more video content. If you'd like to check out his channel further, what you can do is Check him out, hit the subscribe button. I'll put a link in the description below, and it'd be really cool to show some support towards Thumper. So the next thing that I'd like to share with you is going to be um, one thing that popped up today on the um, Facebook group. So one thing I noticed today was there's a couple people that are trying to find the American Lock S100 locks. If you remember a little while back, I did a video showing them and I was selling them when I got a really big lot of them at cost, which was very helpful to many different people that were trying to get access to them. I was very happy to be able to bring access to them to some people. So the American Lock S100 you can see is this lock right here I have in my banner. I did a video a little while back right here if you want to check them out. But I'm just asking if anyone knows where you can get any. There's certainly some people that weren't able to get them when I did them and they're from the United Kingdom. And that'd be a really cool thing if we could bring them some access. I know these aren't the easiest locks to find and I was very happy to be able to help people out when I was able to get some. Now when we go back to my front page here, one thing I am just finding interesting, this is something that's sort of uh, died off a little bit, but if anyone's ever interested in doing a channel introduction, what I did was I made a playlist, which you can see right here called hashtag locksport intro. This is where you can make a introductory video, sort of summarizing your channel, less than 10 minutes, royalty free music, and it's just a really cool thing to do so you can get your channel out there and I can really make a great list of channels so people can see them all at once. So, if anyone's interested in doing that, please send me an email, and I'd be really happy to try to get you shared. So, looks like we have a few more people that have joined us now. Hey, 
Jada, Jerry Doyle, Mike Zemba. It's good to see you guys stopping in. So one of the things that has been coming up a lot in the comment sections in my videos is how do I get started in lock sport and are there any great uh, videos out there to help people get started? So going back to my channel one more time, not to uh, needlessly self-promote myself, but if you check out my channel, I do have a playlist called Lock Picking Homeschool. And a lot of people have found that this playlist is in particular very helpful for people that are first starting out. Um, let me see if I can get to the exact playlist. But either way, if you check out this playlist, there's a lot of great videos in here where you can really start to get your feet wet in lock picking, and it's a great reference. I do plan to try to go through them, organize them a little bit better. I need to complete the series, but it's a really fun thing to do. It's just something I need to find the time to be able to finish. But I just think that that is a really cool thing to be able to share. And I think that I'm really happy to see that it has been able to help so many people out. And I think that that is a really great thing. So moving on to the next thing. One thing that I found fun was I essentially got a Primus Kia knob cylinder, which you can see here. It's something I got a little while ago, but we were able to figure out that I got this with someone else that it takes the level one side um, bar bidding and it's just the CP keyway. So this is a pretty easy key blank to obtain. And as you can see, I've been able to put it into this Abus 83, and I just think this is a really cool lock. So I just thought it was pretty cool that I was, be, was able to take a zero-bitted key, cut it to how I like, and now I have a working Primus, and I think that that is a really nice thing to have. I think that is really cool. I was able to get the cylinder at a pretty good price, and I just wanted to share that with everyone. If you saw my Instagram post, I did share that, and I thought that that was a really cool thing to share. Um, but let's just see who's popped up in the chat now. Um, we got a few more of the same people, but I just want to say it's really nice to see everyone having some really nice conversations. Lock Mania, thank you so much for the kind words. I really enjoyed that. And I agree, you Delp does uh, good videos too. He does a beginner series on Sundays, if I am not mistaken. So the last thing that I want to sort of finish up this video with is as you've been able to see the title so I have the HPC um, Blitz 1200 CMB code cutting machine it's an excellent tool it works very well but I just keep running into a few issues with HPC every step of the way the machine has been working well but one example where the machine didn't work well is the shoulder stop kill switch just stopped working out of nowhere that's not a big deal but every time I email or try to contact HPC about anything, I never hear back from them. And each time I've gotten a set of code cards, the first set I got with the machine, it came with 150 cards. I only received 149. And obviously, one of the cards that I did not receive was one of the more important ones that I would use very frequently, which was the one that went to the Master Lock Pro Series. I was able to get that card replaced through talking with uh, the people at CLK Supply. I got that fixed, and also one of the code cards that came with the set was quite bent, and I was able to get that replaced. So the very first set of code cards I got, I had two issues. And moving on to trying to expand the set, I bought the deck at 25 because I was first debating if I wanted to get the slightly more expensive machine that came with a few extra things, but I just really wanted the code cards, so I didn't get it, and I bought the set separately. When I got this set in, I only got 24 out of the 25 cards, and then on top of that, the cards that I got, only 16 were correct, and the other ones were just really random cards. So I just want to show you kind of an example of that. I have a little document that I made that I sent to the people that I bought it from, and I'm still working 
on being able to get this rectified, but so far they've been pretty responsive. So as you can see, the ones that are marked in green were the cards that I was able to get. The ones that are left in black are the ones that were missing. And here are some of the random cards. I got this Pro Series one again, so now I technically have two of them, which is pretty cool. But, you know, it's just so random. Like, I don't need to have a safety deposit box. I don't even have the blade for that. And that just was not in the set. So I just tried to make this as, you know, easy as possible um, for them to follow. So here's just a scanned image of the co cards that I did get. Here's the material that it came in, sealed from the manufacturer. And I'm just not exactly sure what their quality control is if I keep getting a sealed package each time there's a problem. I think that it's a small sample size, but it also is very strange. And here are the random cards that I got that just had nothing to do with the set. But either way, I'm not really looking to complain too much. It is a little frustrating when you spend money on something and now you're going to need to deal with customer service just to try to get it fixed when it should have been right the first time. I had really great luck with CLK Supply. I'm working with a different vendor right now and hopefully it will work out just as well. But either way guys, this is all that I have for you this week. If you have anything that you would like to share next week, I'd really love to try to share it in the next week's video. I want to say it's been great seeing everyone in the chat. I am not really able to type in the chat as I'm going, but it is really nice to be able to read it. I agree with Mike Zemba. It's been just crazy hot out. I'm in more of the Massachusetts area, but it's been like 90s every day. And I turned my air conditioning off just to make the videos, and I'm in the upstairs, so it's quite hot where I'm sitting right now. But I'm really looking forward to get that AC back on in a few minutes. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you today. If you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please drop those in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.